sourcing is one of the basic method talaga kapag nag-PPR ka. So, magandang gawin ang manual sourcing kapag ang isang store ay naka-sale. On sale siya, so di malaki yung chance na makita ka ng mga good products kasi mas mura yung kanilang buy cost kasi nga naka-on sale. Bakit hindi kami nagpo-consider ng mga flash sale? Kasi may tendency na si client matagal siya makakabili ng product. So, kapag matagal nakakabili ng product si client, kapag uh, flash sales, pwedeng mag-iba yung price ng product. Madali lang siya paglalas or mag a out of stock, especially kapag yung product na yun is very saleable. So, kung pwede, yung sale maglalas ng two weeks. Now, how to do manual sourcing? The first thing to do is to go to the retail store. So, sa US, maraming mga retail stores. Walmart, Target, Walgreens, marami pang iba. Go to the retail store. So, napili ko itong Julia's Place kasi nabalitaan ko na on sale sila. So, go there. Now, again, sabi ko kanina, kapag hindi kayo sure sa site na inyong pupuntahan, so, or site, so, you just have to use scam advisor or trust pilot. Okay? Kung hindi ka sure talaga, wag ka nang pumunta. Pero kapag, ano naman, pag legit yung brand, walang problema. So, So, upon going to the store, mag appear yung iba't ibang product na nandun. So, let's try to look all the products of some of the products here dito sa Julia's Place. Nagbibenta sila ng mga cosmetics. Let's try to find some products na baka meron tayong makita na profitable. Okay, let's try to click five, at least five products. Click mo lang itong mga products na nakalist dito. Okay pa, lalabas sila. The next one is you have to click yung Chrome extension mo na seller app. Okay? Pag kinik mo yung seller app sa na Chrome extension mo, so what you're going to do next is you have to see if match yung product na nasa a retail store doon sa suggested na listings ng seller app. Take note, meron na ditong lalabas na mga quick information about the suggested listing na pwedeng maging match ng product na nasa retail store. Of course, yung BSR natin, kapag namula ito dito, ibig sabihin, hindi na siya pasok sa criteria. Agad-agad. Kasi nga, yung criteria natin, dapat um, 1 to 2% lang. Basta green lang yung nandyan, walang namumula dyan. Okay na okay yan. Okay? So, halimbawa ito, ang pangalan ito, uh, Juvia's Place Shade Contour Sticks, Juvia's Place Shade Stick Foundation. Yun nga lang, yung max cost dito it's, is $6.55. Yung uh, buy cost natin is nasa $6. Now, take note, upon checking out the product and calculating it in our tool, kailangan natin mag-add ng ating tax, which is 1.07, and ng ating prep fee, which is 0.7. So, definitely, lalagpas siya sa max cost natin. So, kapag alam niyo nang lalagpas, so, move on na kayo sa next product. Okay? Huwag nang patagalin pa yung paghihirap. So, this one, the Masquerade Minute Eyeshadow Palette. Okay, nag-load siya. X ko na lang ito. Okay. So, next one is the Zulu Eyeshadow Palette. Juvia's Place Eyeshadow Palette. Okay, para pareho naman sila. $6. Yung kanyang max cost is $9.96. So, let's try to open this one. Kapag wala si Amazon dito, yung BSR niya okay naman, yung max cost naman parang pasok. So, you can just click that one para ma-check mo kung profitable ba talaga siya. What you're going to do is you just have to click this uh, icon, yung Amazon. Kapag click mo yan, dadaling ka yan sa Amazon listing na sinadjust niya. So, tingnan natin para magkapareho lang naman sila. Okay. Now, what you're going to do is you have to input the buy cost. Pero let's try first, try to add to bag. Sabi ko kanina, the minimum number of uh, units na pwede natin i-add to bag is 10. Pero mas marami, mas maganda. So let's try to put 20. Kapag add to bag ba tayo? Oops! Pero mga nag-notify na wala na. Maximum order quantity of 2. So ito, ligwak na ito. Kasi dalawa na lang yung natitira na pwede natin i-add to bag. Isipin na lang natin, imagine na natin na nakapag-add to bag tayo ng more than 10. So that is $6. So what we're gonna do is you just have to go to your tool. Try to input this one in your buy cost, which is uh, $6. 6 times yung ating tax, $6, 6 times 1.06, 6 times 1.07, pag-add ka pa ng ating uh, prep fee, yun, okay? Uh, kapag green lang ito lahat dito, uh, okay na okay siya. Quality over quantity. Okay, next one. X na natin yan. So, we have this one, the Magic Mini Eyeshadow. Sabi ko kanina, you just have to click your seller amp. Tapos, magbibigay ng mga suggested na listings. Nakamatch si seller amp. Magic Mini Eyeshadow. 
Ito, para magkapareho sila, yung price niya is 16.60, lahat naman din, walang namumula. Max cost niya is 6.84. Let's try. Just have to click this Amazon. Now, halimbawa naman, gusto mong i-click itong Google. So, itong Google, mag-reach sa inyo sa Google site na magbibigay sa inyo ng mga possible na mga sources naman na pwede kang uh, tumihin kung ilan yung kanyang price. So, let's try to look. Magkapareho naman sila. Then, let's try to add kung pwede pa. Again, so let's just think. Let's just think kasi sikat din ang Juvia's Place. Saleable siya ng mga products. So, yun yung concept ng manual sourcing. Go to the retail store, okay? Click the products on the retail store and then click your tool, Seller Amp Chrome extension and then the Seller Amp will give you some of the listings that might be a match to the product that can be seen on the retail store and then check if you can order 10 units or above. There are chances na merong mga codes. So, kapag may codes, you just have to enter the codes and see kung ilan yung magiging price kapag merong codes. Then, you have to enter this one. So, titingnan talaga yung lahat ng mga parts ng ating tools kasi yan yung magsasabi kung ma-approve ba yung product or hindi. So, again, kapag ligwak ang isang part doon sa criteria, so definitely, we will not consider that one. So, that's it. That's a concept of manual sourcing.